Hey guys, today I made a data pack that allows you to sneak up to mobs, put them on your head, and then throw them wherever you're looking. So for these pigs, I can either choose to put them in the pin, or somewhere not so lucky. With the red mushroom in your hand, just sneak up to any mob, and you can throw them. This also works if you have multiple mobs, so I have a couple pigs here, and I'm going to try to round them up. One downside is when you're sneaking, it goes super slow, but let's try to get this last one. Um, he's running away from me, he knows what I'm going to do. So I'm going to pick him up, try to throw him in the pin here. Ooh, looks like not all of them ended up in there. Whoops. All right, like I said before, we need a red mushroom for this to work, so let's hit this block, grab our red mushroom, and see what kinds of mobs this works on. So first, let's get a mushroom and just shift, pick him up on our head, and toss him around. If I try to do this again with no red mushroom in my hand, it won't work, as you can see. Put it back, and let's throw him again. This also works for any hostile creatures, so we can get the creeper here. And it looks best in third person because if you go into first person, well, let's not do that again. Um, so next we have the villager and we can pick him up just like normal. Oh, creeper came over too. Throw them both over there. Uh, here's some weird ones. Here's a bee. You can see his little feet when he's upside down. And I'm going to try to throw him straight up. All right, bye. He's going into the sun. Um, maybe he'll come back down. Another flying animal, the chicken. Let's throw him up. Oh, there's our bee. Uh, chicken goes up and then he kind of floats back down like you might expect. Let's get this bee out of here. Uh, here's a couple other weird ones. We have a fish out of water, so I'm going to try to get this guy back in that little pond. Or not. He doesn't really want to go in there. Okay. Um, here's another one. And there we go. He's back in the water. And we have one more from the beginning of the video. So this is the giant, and let's try to get up to him and sneak over. He's so big, we can't really get from, from this angle. So let's go to the front, and there we go. We got that giant on our head. We can throw him anywhere. Again, let's try to look in third person and first person. Yeah, okay. Um, so let's throw him away. We don't need him anymore. Let's take a look at some other cool tricks you can do with picking up and throwing mobs. So we all know how Endermen love water, so let's gather up a bunch of these guys and toss them in there. They don't seem too happy, but let's keep on tossing them in. Next up, let's try to save these pufferfish by putting them in the cauldron. So just get one, throw it, and that's not going to work. Maybe a, a higher angle. I'm not sure if this is possible, so ooh, yep, uh, that's not going to work. Uh, let's, let's give it one more try here. And... Ugh, so close. Maybe you can make a redstone contraption out of this. So I'm going to try in first person here, throwing these chickens to light up these lamps. Uh, that's not working too well, so third person is the way to go. Grab some chickens here and throw them, and yeah, they could work. We can also use our newfound power of throwing for good. So here's some stranded dolphins. Let's put them back in their natural habitat in a small little river here. And grab this one, this one, and I guess this one doesn't want to go back home, so bye. We can also use throwing for defensive purposes, so say a creeper's coming at you, pick him up and throw him wherever you want. This throwing works really well in combat, so here's a montage of me throwing some mobs around.
I want to thank a friend of the channel Nope Name for his directional movement data pack, which I used some commands from for the throwing physics of this. Make sure to say hi to him in the comments, and go subscribe if you haven't already. To be able to throw mobs in your own world, go to masonyoface.com, download the data pack, and drag and drop this folder into your data packs folder, and you're good to go. Thanks for watching, this one was really fun to make. If you have a guess why I'm using a mushroom as the item to hold to do this, comment down below. As always, feedback is appreciated in the comment section, and if you really loved it, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time everybody!